see if my game will load. Because um, there's something I have been wanting to do for a long time for this game. Uh, although it, it looks a bit like going to give me some trouble here. Oh, well, maybe here it comes. screen is bugged, so I actually need to reboot the game. Well, that's exceptionally annoying that it's misbehaving like this. We've been hired to take control of the system. They didn't tell us what they found under the ice. It is, it'll be fine, and I'll get to talk about um, what I want to talk about, and if not, then um, maybe I'll make a little bit silly. Um, well, so if this is the conquest mode, I wanted to talk about some faster ships and how they can be abused in these lower. I also wanted to, oh no, they reassigned AI captains. Man, I guess it's been a while since I've played. Um, but I, I also wanted to talk about how, um, one, how they can be abused in these lower ELO games. You can really get um, victories off of them, um, but how um, when 
you bring these up to, especially uh, I'll be I'll be showing off the Sentinel today. But once you bring that up to higher Elo games, uh, you can appropriately still kind of abuse that advantage. Um, it can be useful in team play, especially if you have a the rest of your team can abuse sort of a, the higher levels that you can gain from it. Um, but the most important part is you have to press your level advantage, and you have to have a team willing to do that. The Sentinel is a very weak ship uh, when it comes to team fighting, um, so it's not really built to take advantage of uh, team fights. So you'll need to press your early game advantage and your advantage of being fast and mobile to gain levels over the enemy, uh, which you can do even as high as, say, 1400 and 1500 ELO, um, uh, and also to uh, kind of make the enemy team make mistakes is the second big thing. Is, um, you force them to get out of position. Of course, this kind of only works in PUG games, right? In, in 5v5s. these pug games you can really screw over the other team by forcing them out of position, making really weird, bad mistakes to come deal with you pushing um, at the right times. Well, this is the longest queue ever for such a low elo game. I think AI captains are still assigned for low ELO games for some reason. I forgot that they didn't assign them to the higher ELO games. Maybe I guess that's why I haven't seen one in such a long time. Full Q times here. this mode? Maybe Discovery Queue is... Um, I 
Check out. Um, I'm gonna go check out the Discord because maybe they can tell me what's the deal. Testing. 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 Come on, are you kidding me at the last fucking second? That's my shield and buoy. Need to kill one of them. Come on, are you kidding me at the last fucking second? There we go. That was one. <laughs> it stopped with like one or two ticks left on the bar meter. Like I'm not kidding. Like we stopped capping. It's just like barely anything left. What do you mean? Hold on a second. I'm currently. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'll be dead in a second. Hold on. Dead. Dead. It's um... like conquest with a different map. Okay, do you, have you played Last Stand? Okay, uh, okay, never mind then. Uh, basically, instead of having to cap a base, you now, the base is actually a core with three turrets. The turrets will your face easily, especially with the low levels, but you can easily kill them if you're focused on them or take a little bit of time. However, on your own, even in any kind of ship, you're probably going to only be able to kill one in time for you to retreat, and you know, you have to, you can't kind of a whole real set but basically the game only ends when the core is destroyed the core is kind of shielded from the sides and it's kind of in the back of the base so you need to move in or be in a long range ship and it, it's been moving around but it has about 60,000 hp so uh basically it's a lot more forgiving kind of game than conquest so like if you fuck up they you still you still have a chance to defend even if one person is down you can still kill them and reduce their dps quite a lot instead of slowly getting capped out but 
Not sure. I think I said like two weeks when it started, but that was like a month ago, I think, when I started Conquest. Suck anything off the armor for Scooter. Huh? Do what? They are, but uh, just a few days ago they dropped a patch, which is now bringing all the new, a lot of really, a lot newer players into a lot older players, which means that it's gotten quicker, it's gotten sub-10, it's gotten very good, but the games are kind of going to trash. Uh, Out. Aegis, why? Aegis, I'm upset with you. Suck that. Playing the shielding buoy. No problem. Just about gave up, so I guess good timing. It sounds like I'm gonna have to be loud and talk into my mic. Alright, so it sounds like I'm gonna have to be loud and talk into my mic. Yeah, okay. So I guess maybe that'll be fine. Um, so essentially, uh... What I want to... I, I kind of mentioned this already, but basically I want to show how the speed of the sentinel uh, can really help direct a game. Um, and what I mean by this is you can control the pacing of it by forcing your enemy to make mistakes, um, as well as giving your team levels. So I'm going to uh, play kind of greedily. Um, is perhaps one way to describe the type of play I'm about to, to make. Um, it, this really does require your team to be um, a little bit competent, but um, if you force the other team to make big mistakes, um, it can really make up for um, any sort of incompetencies on your team, because then your team starts fighting um, with advantage, say with 3v4s or 2v4s or... And, bid, you know, like 1v4s or something like that. 
So you'll always put your, not always, you'll almost always put your team down by playing like this, you put your team down by one ship, but honestly the Sentinel doesn't add almost any real level of firepower unless you just completely hit everything, but their missiles are really slow, they're really easy to uh, point defense off. The rockets, um, usually you can hit a volley, um, but sometimes the angles are weird and it can really screw your rockets. Um, and your smart gun can honestly be avoided. So um, with kind of a weaker amount of DPS um, uh, than other ships and the ability for some of that to really be negated already kind of makes the ship a little bit weak. Um, so it makes sense to play this ship kind of aggressively and very mobily. Um, so Radicand is an excellent player on the other team. He should be probably the spookiest, but he's playing Paladin, so we'll see how that works. I don't know if there's any team damage. It's telling me to avoid damage, but I'm not really afraid. Want bases? You don't want bases. You actually want um, you want mines, and then you want bases. But I've, I'm actually taking this mine because we have that other one up there. Um, so we have four of the six mines, so that's good. We kind of um, pushed a big threat over here because some of the lower teams, lower elo teams, will really over to you starting to take a base like this. So you can actually start to, especially these Gamma online, you 60 can't take seconds. anything, basically. Um, you can sort of threaten taking that base and then jump home. Um, so with Gamma right on the way, I take offense by the way, so that in the late game I can aid my team. Um, usually me living or dying is it should be not based on how close I am to um, Basically, you should control your cooldowns while you're dying. Gamma online in 30 seconds. You should offense. Don't really want to contest Gamma the Aegis here, but I would much rather keep the Aegis here. Than, uh, 
or do a whole lot of damage like this. Because this is where I'll do the most damage. I I can't do more damage than what I just did in that fight. So I'm gonna let my team fight um four and There's so much garbage in this um, lane that I kept running into. I um, I haven't played on um, these maps, so my my knowledge of where I should be isn't as good as um, as it once was. Um, but yeah, okay. So as you saw, I did a whole bunch of damage to the Aegis. I shouldn't really have lived so long against the ghost, but usually the ghost be chasing. How would I know what I know? That's probably right here. Um, at this point, I will make the jump to Gamma to see what I can get done. My team is kind of um, starting to lose here. So maybe this is going to be a while. I'm also not really sure what to do. Now with Gamma, you can really press tons of damage. So we did that. Uh, still shooting that. Snack the levels. Fleet message. Back to your resistance. So I've been using my surge to. Their ghost has been really anxious to kill me for apparently no reasons. You should use that surge to make your escape so you don't have to experience. This is not ideal because I'm exposing a huge width that is the simple ship.
forward station is That's one of the few times you can guarantee hits on the Sentinel's rockets, is you, you want to hit them like that, basically, from, from right below. They're calling to go in. I don't really fully understand how this mode works, but I'm going to chat. Um, basically, this isn't really the best. This isn't what you want to be doing. You don't care about this. Your team, your team will do way more damage from way longer range than you will ever do from here. You want to drop right here, snag oh, this mine, kill their, kill their mini game dudes. Kill the ghost that chases you. Displacer that chases you. Again, you don't care that you like took this displacer away from the base, right? Because he can't catch you, or shouldn't be able to catch you. Um, and you, you're up in bases, your team is being aggressive, they should be being aggressive in ways, and taking the fight, so you'd much rather fight. Gamma online in 60 seconds. So with 60 seconds on Gamma, I'm gonna rush right over here, throw their minigame dudes, take the mine, and go Even if I die, that's fine, but honestly, I shouldn't. Enemy home base secured. I'll take, um, take cover right here. You have to be careful, the Sentinel's so huge that, um, it can be a little dangerous. Online in 30 seconds. Man, this place is crazy, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen this place yet. So, again, they're gonna go Gamma, I've got gamma 2 seconds on the Surge, I'm gonna pop up seconds. here, take the mine, call it a Check who's over here. It's nobody that I know. Ooh, I didn't care about that guy. Gamma online in ten seconds. I don't know what this guy's doing. Gamma two active. Face me. So we're killing Gamma probably because of our two level advantage. So we're just going to this. In fact, this will win you the game. You open the, at least in Conquest, I'm not sure about this mode, but uh, if you open this gate right here, right as your team's picking up Gamma, it forces the team to come deal with you, or it means um, when you open Gamma, and I'm actually going to make the jump about halfway in to help come secure the rest of Gamma, um, just in case we forget it, it'll, it'll mean um, we have access to the base to take the loot. So as soon as this Gamma gets secured, um, So we're, like I said, just going to make this jump right on. So I'm actually going to make this jump out right here to try and open this gate back up. Um, and this will probably actually get killed, but caps are quite fast right now, so we might get it. So my proportion boy and an escape path right here. I want to be able to get out. I do hear them warping in, so I'm going to be able to get out right here. Chased to play the minigame, you're not going to kill the ghost. Just, yep, there we go. And now you can make the 
a safe jump home. It doesn't matter where you jump to, you just need to get out. So you make a safe jump home here. Ideally, I would have caught this mine. I was just a little bit. We no longer have jump but access it doesn't really matter. Base. We have 8, level 8, to their level 7. Come get a free. We should be Kill essentially, um, we'll go straight to Gamma off of this because we don't want to. We don't want our team to fight him down. Or anything. seconds and, and even this guy will be out of fight for 7 seconds or so so I'm gonna snag these heals. This guy's opening the gate exactly what he should be doing although I think Gamma 3 gives us the gate in. Um, he dies so that's actually really bad for us. Gamma 3 is now available. Um, that's good obviously. This should be an easy game. We should take this Gamma out. Again. That'll be great. And it does look like we've got a full team jumping in, minus the dead dude. So, um, my team honestly did a, a really excellent job. They were almost always ahead, it felt like. Um, so it wasn't, I would say, as important that um, I was doing essentially what I needed to be doing. But uh, this role can act as a force multiplier. Um, it can increase that advantage. So if your team's you already... The artifact will eventually change everything. I haven't heard we'll this trigger before, a series so of events listen. that would redefine our place in the universe. Commander would be there every step of the way. Cool. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, um, you can act as a force multiplier. So you make your team better by ensuring they always have levels. So if they're already winning the fights without you, you know, 
Um, they don't need you to be there. In fact, the best thing you can do is be gaining experience for yourselves because um, it's team experience. Um, take a quick look at the scoreboard. You'll see I have 13 caps. Next best is 8 and 7. These are our heavies, so it's kind of a bit odd that they're next up with um, so many, actually. Paladin, oh no, Paladin should stay back. Three's fine for him. Black Widow's five. That's fine too. But you'll notice, like, their Persecutor has zero caps. Maybe this was an AI or something, although it does give them levels, so they should know. Um. Um, but zero caps it makes a uh, game very difficult, and the Persecutor is kind of the Sentinel's counterpart, so they should be really fast. Um, they should be able to get those uh, caps in, um, but they, the, the Persecutor provides a lot more firepower than the Sentinel, so it's a, a more dynamic role. Um, uh, okay, well, so I think this game should really show... Um, uh, and even against uh, Radicand, and it looks like he had two other players with him, Phil and Marcus. I've seen Marcus before, he's a good player. Radicand, though, is, is really an, an excellent player, so... Um, but even with... Um, and, you know, this guy's got all the top 1% of Brawler Captains, whatever that means. Top 1% of Sentinel Captains, whatever that means. Um, Man, these are really cool. Um, so yeah, even playing against a, a team that should be um, at least moderate ELO, um, you can see that the strategy works okay. Um, you, it is preferable for your team to be able to pick up fights and win fights, but as you saw, I constantly had the ghost out of fights, which meant the ghost wasn't um, applying its firepower to the fights, so they were my team wasn't fighting a man down. The obvious counter to that is to fight the man up, to fight 5v4. For this kind of fighting, it's super important that your team is um, not crazy aggressive, that they can live long enough for you to capture all the bases, and then make your way to Gamma, and then you can take the 5v5 on just fine. Or if they're really good at um, focusing their fire, then it's honestly probably fine for you to just cap bases, because they'll probably win. Um, at least in pugs. Obviously, almost none of this is true in um, typical 5v5 fights. It's very difficult to play this kind of style of sentinel or even this style of aggressive um, ship that doesn't add a whole lot combat-wise. Um, so that's really what I wanted to get to, so thanks for listening if you did listen all this way. I've been talking for a long time now, it feels like. Um, uh, but yeah, if you play like this, you can get easily to very high elo. Um, I would say 12 or 13 or... 12 or 1300 for sure, I would say. I'm not sure. I, I used to play with the 2k elo cap, so I don't know if that's still in place, but... If it is, easily to 12 or 1300. Um, and then even past that, if you have gotten really good at this and really good at your timing, which today I didn't really show a, a fantastic timing run. I wasn't perfect in my timing and I was running into a bunch of things, but um, if you are good with your timing and you're good with your escapes, uh, you can easily apply this kind of strategy at um, higher elo, even 15 and 16 hundred and up. Um, honestly, once you get to 1500, you start playing the same nine or ten players every single match. Um, so if you can apply it in any single one game, you should be able to apply it to all of them. Um, although obviously if they start running counters, like um, a good brawler can be a real pain in the ass. A persecutor will screw your day every single time. If they start picking persecutor, I would never recommend playing a, uh, a sentinel at the very least you might play persecutor that might be fine um, there's a couple of ships that have teleportation abilities those ships can mess you up you have to be very peculiar with your timing if you're playing um, if you're
if you do choose to play the Sentinel against them. Um, other than that, it's pretty good, so you you can really mess up, say, especially a lot of the lighter ships, if you want to play as Raider, Ranger, or Raven, even. You have to be careful of the Reaper. Um, even the Super Lifter will kill a Sentinel. Um, a good one, anyways, will kill a Sentinel. They just have too much healing and armor repair and uh, enough damage to deal with you. Venturers, pretty uh, beefy. They'll mess you up. I don't know about the Punisher. I haven't played it. Um, if you're playing against Robert, <laughs> the Guardian will fuck you up, but that's really unfair because it's already Robert. Um, and the rest of these ships, you should really do fine against. It's also a, hu a really great counter to the uh, cloak ship. So all of the cloak ships want to play very aggressively and just murder you. And the Sentinel has a, a huge potential to escape. And so um, you basically will constantly waste their times when you um, are doing this. So, okay, well, thanks for listening. Um, I don't, nobody really knows who I am. So I don't really expect this to be seen at all. But I'm Fruit Force Honeydew playing on this kiwi account hopefully that's all right i want to play a lower elo game hopefully i get to play um at the higher uh get to record a higher elo game um with this kind of commentary but i wanted to be able to focus on the commentary while it was happening um and um not be very distracted i suppose uh, okay well thanks for listening or and paying attention um have a good one